Tesla is already a truly very, very advanced company, especially when it comes to technology. Accordingly, it is also possible to view all the car's data and control it remotely through the app. It would be even cooler if one could somehow capture this data and visualize it, so that one can precisely track how long the car has been charging, how far one has driven, where one has traveled, how much energy was consumed, what the standby consumption was, and much more. Fortunately, there is such a project, and it's called Tesla MIT. It is now also possible to integrate it relatively easily into Home Assistant, and that's exactly what I want to show you after the intro. Enjoy! Before we get started, let's briefly address the elephant in the room, which is this space here. Don't worry, this isn't going to be my new recording setup, so don't get too used to it. Soon we'll be back in the old location. Now I would say, let's jump directly to my monitor and take a look at the whole thing. Of course, you can install Tesla normally via Docker. For those of you who have seen my recent videos and would like to have a pre-configured Home Assistant OS, perhaps you want to have Tesla directly integrated into Home Assistant, you can link your Tesla directly with Home Assistant, but then you won't have access to all those graphs and the ability to query your data centrally through Tesla. The advantage is that Tesla also has some integrations with other applications, giving you a central place to retrieve your Tesla's data. The problem is that depending on which values you want, your Tesla has to wake up from the so-called deep sleep mode. If your car is parked for an extended period, it automatically shuts down some systems to be significantly more energy efficient. However, in order to read certain values from the system, the car must first be awakened, which can negatively impact battery life, something that is probably not desirable. Accordingly, it is best if you have a central location from which you regularly retrieve the data and then distribute it to the corresponding other systems that you use. Specifically, you could use Tesla to retrieve the data from your Tesla, import it into Tesla, and then export it to, for example, Home Assistant. To install everything, there is this GitHub repository Tesla add-on for Home Assistant. For this, we need to copy this URL here. The link to it is also below in the video description. First, go to Home Assistant, under Settings, Add-ons, then down to the Add-on Store, and click on the three dots, and then on Repository, Ma. Here, you will enter this URL and confirm it by pressing Enter. Next, you need to install the two corresponding containers. On one hand, there is the database here, PostgreSQL, and of course, Tesla made itself. And as soon as the download is complete, you will find the two add-ons under settings and add-ons here. Let's start with PostgreSQL. Here you go into the configuration and can then set a username, a password, and a database that should be created here. It's best to provide different data than what is already stored here. This should only be test data. Since I will remove everything after the video, I will leave it like this for now, and we will just click on Start here. Ideally, we now see the green dot at the top, which means the add-on has been successfully started, the database has been created, and the database is now accessible. Next, we go into TeslaMate, click on Configuration, and here we can also enter the user data for our database. Since I haven't changed it, I can leave it as it is. You could still adjust the database port, and I will now configure the MQTT server here. I am disabling it up here now. If you want to use MQTT, which is really worth it, you need to enter the MQTT data here once. After that, click Save here, and then we can also start Tesla Mat directly here. I will add this directly to the sidebar, and now I see the green dot indicating that it has started successfully. When I click on the menu item here, I immediately get this page displayed. And from now on, it gets exciting, because you need an access token and a refresh token 2001 at Tesla Med to log in with your Tesla account. The easiest way to get this data, in my opinion, is through an app that you can install called Auth App for Tesla. It is available for both iOS and macOS. If you are using Android, I would recommend choosing this method. After you have installed this app and logged in with your account, you will automatically see the refresh token and access token displayed. I have to do this now. Unfortunately for you, I can then add it to Tesla and will immediately see my use and my two cars displayed here. What I would recommend to you now in order to see the data nicely visualized is to search for Grafana in the add-on store and then edit the YAML in the configuration here to insert the data from the GitHub repository. The only thing you need to change is actually the data here for admin and password. It is important that you do this before starting the add-on, otherwise these data will not be set here. Then click here to save and you can start everything under information. I will also display everything directly in the sidebar here. Now I can click on Open User Interface here, then click on Connections at the three dots, 
and then search for Postgres here. Here, add a new data source. Tesla made copy the data from my Postgres add-on here, disable SSL for 2021 because everything is happening locally, click save and test, and ideally, I now see database connection OK. Here, and at least get the values from Tesla Mat into Grafana. To get the nice dashboards now, I will go into settings, add-ons, and click on Tesla Mat. In the configuration, I need to click on the three dots and select edit as YAML to insert the data from the Grafana dashboard and of course, set import dashboards to true. Now I can start everything up and Teslamat automatically connects to Grafana and imports the dashboards. This takes a little moment and as soon as finished importing dashboards appears here, I can go back to Grafana and should now find a folder named Tesla in the dashboards where I can see some dashboards and could now, for example, press on battery health and then over time the data from Tesla would naturally end up here. This takes a moment, of course, because it periodically retrieves the data every 15 minutes to avoid completely draining the car's battery. Additionally, we can also see, for example, drive details or drive stats, the locations, an overview of some data, the vampire drain, updates, trips, and a lot of other data that can be very useful. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would of course be very grateful for a rating. If you have any questions about the integration, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. If you don't want to miss anything anymore, feel free to click subscribe and I would say see you next time. Until then, take care and goodbye.